coach, uh, it, this was a game that, uh, man, you, you always hear about a tale of two halves. This was almost like a tale of three halves. So the <laughs> first half, you hold this Kent State team to just 36% shooting. Second half, they shoot 56%. Overtime, they're 1 of 11, 9%. I, I'm curious what you make of those numbers. I know you like to start with defense, so let's start there. Yeah, um, they did. They, they played very hard. They went at us. They, you know, they were quick and they were strong. And um, they exploited some things at times. They hit a couple of um, tough or fortunate shots that, um, you know, were were kind of backbreakers and could have been the difference. But we we stayed the course and came up with enough tough shots. I, you know, it's we've just got to keep working and keep improving and chipping away. And what I, the message after the game, Dave, was, you know, I said, here's the line of maximum effort, what you think it is. And and for the most part, I, I see it at times they're getting there, but there's a line above it about being uncomfortable that we have to somehow as a group find a way to get to, especially defensively, an, an all-out lay it on the line for each other, scrapping that um, that is necessary. So um, again, they, they put pressure, they had some athleticism. And when you go against those teams, you're, you do need a level of soundness uh, and smarts that that it just stands out. And again, we miss some free throws and all that, but hard fought game and, and good for us to be in it. And, and we just will take it and move on. Yeah, this was a game in overtime. I noticed you did not make a substitution. It was the same five guys throughout. What was behind the thinking there? Well, I just thought, you know, we were, um, it was the right group. You, you know, could have made some subs. I don't know, but I just thought it was the right group. And they, they started touching on the, the stops, the efforts, the things that were required, and they were spreading them out and attacking um, uh, on offense. That was, you know, I think both teams looked gassed at the end. You could see it, and they missed some shots. We missed some shots, but um, I just thought it was the right way to go. Don't always get that right, but um, you know, we were we were fortunate, but we also had to play and make plays um, and get some stops. So again, you always say, all right, where can we grow and what what can we take and say that's some good stuff. Thanks, Dave. It's a lot of. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> there you go. No, it was, yeah, and. You know, we were talking about should we foul? You always get into that. And we're, there's a little discrepancy in our staff. We need to get clarification if if you're fouling before the ball enters. You know, is that an intentional? Is it not? You know, there was that. So we said, let's make it. We did make him make a tough shot. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I well, maybe not looking forward, but I want to see that on tape. I hope we didn't stop pursuing a rebound. Um, and it was a tough bounce. It looked like guy hit a tough shot. We made the first one hard. I thought it was ours, and they. Um, Again, they hit that one and that one off the glass that were kind of daggers for us. But um, yeah, I think that's that's a real issue. And you know, coming what's coming up next um, is one of the best rebounding teams and that the college basketball game has seen over the years. So we'll have to be even better. And it's a five-man deal. We talk about that. If everybody isn't scrapping and early in the first half, those guards were getting by us, and um, it's just carrying through a commitment that. Um, that you got to get past comfortable and go to uncomfortable with that stuff. Tony, understanding that every team is a little different and, and everybody's personality is a little bit different, um, how do you feel about the kind of emotional makeup of this group on the floor? Is, is there enough fire? Is that not the demeanor of this particular team? Um, what do you see there? It, whether it is or it isn't, you have to find it. You can't compete and play if there isn't a, a hardness or a, an intensity um, not just at the start. You can't rely on a crowd. It's got to be as continuous when you get down. And I thought they, they stayed tough when it looked like they could have maybe yielded with some good plays and they ran their offense a little harder. But that is something that we got to, you know, every team has to do. But that um, that is something that I think needs to keep moving up. Uh, hey, Tony. Jerry. Uh, Yeah. Well, he's an upper class. Oh, sorry, Jerry. Was that it? Kihei? Yeah. The one uh, I thought, you know, we, we 
had a few times to finish that could have really separated it or put us in a better spot. But no, he, he certainly did. He, he, he brought what he needed to bring, and he's got to bring it nonstop. Um, and that, um, that was important. You know, he, he's, he's quick. And again, he's got to make the good decisions. And I thought he, he had a nice stretch for us for sure and, and was, um, you know, defensively got that. I, he, you know, the experience is there and he's got to get it. And hopefully Sam will keep coming. You know, I, I say this about Sam. He made a huge shot and did some good things. And I remember it with Anthony Gill and, and other good players I had. You, there was a year that was missed of competition. And uh, there's a little bit of timing and just feel like, oh, yeah. Because you forget, oh, yeah, this is how intense it is. This is how – doesn't matter who you're playing, the athleticism and the, all that stuff. You, you have to – like it's almost a little bit of a water in the face, even for me. And um, I think we're experiencing that and we'll, we'll continue to because from here on out, it's, it's just high-level competition. Yeah, no, I, I, for sure. That was a, obviously the three he hit was huge, um, and and we needed that. But he has that ability to try to, you know, whether we're different ways. You know, we've played him at some three and some four, and um, you know, you have to again um, allow him to get those shots and and take them with confidence. And that was that was huge. Um, I, I felt like we didn't shoot the ball. You know, at times we passed up some rhythm open threes, but but we did get to the line, and we, um, you know, that's a good stat. And we were aggressive getting to the paint when we needed to. I think that was important. But you do have to have some guys willing to space it to open up the the paint. Tony, uh, obviously, you were very I didn't know that actually. I'm actually I was just worried about this, so I'll talk to Ronnie, and I wasn't aware of that. Um, so we'll, we'll, yeah, this is part of, um, yeah. And, and college basketball is a little different than football. There aren't as many open dates and bye weeks with certain things. So I, I will, I, you know, I, I'll talk to Ronnie who does that, and we'll look at the schedule and see what's available. It was officially canceled or postponed. Okay. Okay, both of them? Okay. Yep. All right. Um, the Jayhawks finished a uh, career high in 18 points tonight. Um, how important is it for him, just in his leadership, just to me, after the um, coming down? Can you pull your mask? <laughs> no, I just can't. I, I can't. I, no, I couldn't hear. Who? Jay. Jay. Yeah, again, the experience um, and um, for sure. And, and, you know, again, good to see him have 11 rebounds. And, and we don't, you know, we have some guys with experience, but then there's a lot of new faces. And, again, um, Jay's been in the battles from last year a lot, as has Kihei and Sam, you know, two years ago. Um, but beyond that, Thomas was in some. It, it, we need that. So you have to rely on that, and, and they got to bring that passion. And I thought he – he made some big plays and um, you know certainly hit some free throws um, that were clutch for us. So I was happy to see that for sure. I didn't know what to expect, but I, I did know what we lost that was extremely important that didn't show up in the stat sheet as much um, with Mamadi and Braxton on that, that athleticism and physicality, especially, you know, three, four, or five on the, the defensive end and rebounding. And that, that, that stuff comes up, you know, as the competition goes up. That stuff is huge for coming up with key stops, key rebounds, and we're not there yet in those areas. That's just not there. Um, but I didn't know. Um, but again, hopefully this game and the, the previous ones will keep building us towards it um, to what we need because we'll have to, we will need to improve, no question about it, uh, in order to, 
to, you know, um, be as good as we can because we're not there yet. But it was a step, I think, and stretches today, and we'll we'll take that. Yeah, you know, I, of course, it's, it's their, their right to do that. We talked about it, and I thought it was important. Um, and it didn't look right in the first game. And, I, you know, I don't see it when some don't say the way we were spaced because of social distance. It, it, to me, it looked fragmented. And we talked about it. You know, why did you kneel? Why did you stand? Like, if you're going to do that, it's, it's a big symbol. Um, tell us why, all of us. And, and we had a deep conversation about that. And the one thing that's clear is, is we're absolutely united in um, our support and belief of how valuable the military are, the frontline workers, and supporting those. And also, we're united in our belief that there is racial inequality. Like, those two things are we're sure on. Whether you stand, whether you kneel, this group is united in those two beliefs. And I know how it looks from afar, and um, we are, it's, I think the important thing is what you do with what your symbol is. Is there action? Are we going to be involved? Are we going to make a difference to provide healing? That's the real stuff. That's the substance. And uh, I wish it wasn't such a divisive issue, but, um, but that part is important, and that's, that's where it's at. And, um, you know, and it being completely real with you on it, it it's, it's, a, it's a hard issue, um, but it's those two things we're united on, for sure, the respect however you deem it and look at it, the respect for the military and those who serve and have given us this freedom, however you want to say it. And then, of course, that there is racial inequality and um, Neil Stan, whatever, there needs to be action and purpose to promote healing. And that's, those are the two for sure. Yeah, you get in those, you know, against San Francisco, we, we got in that, you know, you're in possession games late, you have to make some plays defensively, offensively at the free throw line, um, just kind of find it from within to, to, to go there and to kind of come together in ways that um, a practice can't put you in that spot, nor can a, can a game where it's not a close game. And so um, we faltered against San Francisco and we came away on this one. So. Um, you know, you take that, but those are important situations to be in because you feel, you know, you can feel the emotions, you see things waver, and then you, you get hope, but you just have to keep, again, chipping away um, at all areas for us. This is, again, it, it really is, um, uh, it, it is the work in progress because that's a cliche, but, it, but it's true, and we got to keep finding, you know, just because guys didn't play doesn't mean they won't play. Um, just because guys played a lot, you know, that's, that's where this group is at right now.